Hi everyone, welcome to the third video in my free math SAT course. In this video, we're in the overall topic of heart of algebra, and today we're covering systems of equations. In this video, we're gonna go through the three types of systems questions you'll see on the SAT. We're gonna go through an example of each, talk about overall strategies, and walk through actually, you know, solving those questions. The three types of systems questions you'll see are solving for a variable, solving for an expression, and then no solution. Let's start with solving for a variable, which is the most straightforward. First question here, we can immediately tell it's a systems question because it has two equations. That's what a system means. Comparing different equations, looking at their properties, and usually finding where they intersect. Let's read it. According to the system of equations above, what is the value of x? So I like to always start by writing my equations on the side. So we have x plus nine, or x plus y equals negative nine, and x plus two y equals negative 25. Now there are two ways we can solve this. There's elimination and substitution. Substitution can often be more direct, so I'm gonna start with that. And the idea of substitution is we have two variables here, but we wanna substitute one variable in for another. So that way there's only one variable and we can solve directly for the variable we're looking for. So we're looking for x, meaning we wanna somehow get rid of the y. And let's use this equation up here because it has one x, one y. It's gonna be a little easier to manipulate. I'll take it over here. Get x plus y equals negative nine. And I'm gonna write this in terms of y, and this will allow me to plug it in and replace y in the other equation. So I'll subtract x from both sides to do that. And we have y equals negative nine minus x. So now in the second equation, instead of y, I can plug in negative nine minus x, because we know that's what y equals. So we'll write x plus two times, not y, but negative nine minus x equals negative 25. And from here, we can solve it like a normal equation. So do x plus, distribute the two, negative 18 minus 2x equals negative 25. Let's group the like variables. We get negative x minus 18 equals negative 25. Add 18 to both sides. Negative x equals negative seven. And we want positive x, so positive x is going to be positive seven. And that's our answer. So that's the first method, substitution. You can't always do this. And that's why we need to look at the other method, which is elimination. So let's take a look at that one. So this one, it's the same idea. We wanna get rid of one variable, but we're gonna do it in a different way by adding or subtracting these equations to eliminate a variable. So here I can see X can be eliminated very easily, but I'm solving for X, so I'm not actually gonna eliminate that. So we got a two Y, so I'm gonna write this equation with a two Y so we can eliminate the Y, solve it directly for X. And I'm gonna do that by multiplying everything here by two, because if we scale everything up by two, it's still the same equation. So multiply by two on this side and on this side, it becomes two X plus two Y equals negative 18. And make sure to multiply everything by that scale. A lot of people mess up with this and only multiply half of it or some numbers, and that's gonna throw you off. And now we got X plus two Y equals negative 25. Now, because there's a 2y, we can subtract here. We'll get x, 2y minus 2y is zero, so the y's are gone, equals negative 18 minus 25 is seven. So we got the same answer, just a different way. So substitution, elimination, sometimes you can do both. You can pick whichever one you want. Sometimes you have to do elimination or substitution, so it's good to know both methods. Let's move on to the next type of systems problem. The second type of system problem is where you're solving for an expression. So if we look here at the bottom, we're looking for the value of X minus Y. So not just one variable. So with these, before you do anything, you should look at the equations and see if you could add or subtract them to directly get this. This one, I looked at it before you can't, but sometimes if you add the X's and Y's, they just immediately form this and it just cuts out the problem. So always look for that. This one, it's not the case. So we're gonna do very similar to the last problem and solve this one. So again, writing it over here, two X minus three Y equals negative 14 and three X minus two Y equals negative six. So here, substitution doesn't really work. We don't have a lone X or Y and we can't do elimination because the X's and Y's don't line up. So we're gonna to have to scale up our equations so something lines up. So let's scale up the X's. A two and a three, we can get these to both be six. Multiply this one by three, this one by two, that'll make them six, so let's do that. So multiply this whole equation by three, this whole equation by two. And remember, the whole equation has to get multiplied by that. So we get six X 
minus 9y equals negative, what is that, 42. And this one becomes 6x minus 4y equals negative 12. So now we can eliminate those x's. So do minus, so gone. Negative 9 minus a negative 4 is negative 9 plus 4. So that's going to be negative 5y. Negative 42 minus negative 12 is negative 42 plus 12. So that's negative 30. Divide by negative 5. We get y equals negative or positive 6. Because negatives cancel. So positive 6. Now to get the other variable, we plug back in either equation to find x. So let's do 2x minus 3. And we know y is 6 equals negative 14. Let's get 2x minus 18 equals negative 14. Add 18 to both sides. 2x equals 4. So x equals 2. So now we have x. Now we have y. It's going to be 2 minus 6 to get x minus y, which is negative 4. Our answer is C. So second type is you're solving for an expression. A lot of times you can get this directly by adding or subtracting the equation. So always look for that. If not, solve for one variable, solve for the other, and then just make sure you evaluate the actual expression. The last type of system problems you'll see is a no solution one. And if you look at it, it's very intimidating. If you don't actually study this, you won't know how to solve it, but it actually is one of the easier problems you'll encounter if you know what you're doing. So let's read the question. In the system of equations above, k is a constant, and x and y are variables. For what value of k will a system of equations have no solution? So for a little context, systems and the ones we're looking at are just lines. And the solution is where they intersect or cross. So if they cross like this, they hit at one point, that's one solution. If they're the same line, they overlap all the time, they have infinite solutions. Now if they don't cross, they have no solutions. And the only case where they don't cross is when they are parallel. They keep going up like this, this, never cross. So we're essentially looking for what makes these parallel. And they're not in the nice y equals mx plus b format. But what we can do is make sure that the x and the y are in the same ratio. Because then they're the same equation except for the number here, which is the y-intercept. The y-intercept just controls how high or low it is. So if they're the same equation, one will be up here will be down here will never touch so let's just make sure the x and the y are in the same proportion so the y's it's negative 3 over 5 or negative 5 which is 3 fifths and the x's are just k over 4 so we want them to be the same proportion meaning they are equal and we can solve this by just cross multiplying so k times 5 5k 4 times 3 is 12 divide by 5 k equals 12 fifth, and that is a so tough looking question if you don't know how to do this you'll probably just skip this one stumble on and guess on this one but if you do super quick takes a couple seconds easy right answer you can move on to the next that's it for systems i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope this video was helpful if you're interested in more free sat math lessons please subscribe and i'll see you next time